welcome back everyone to another video and this is going to be a quick one uh, i recently got uh, access or like complete control well someone just sent me uh, old koto quad machine so uh, a video about the machine itself will be coming out very soon but uh, the machine is very interesting and i've done some good stuff to it so we'll take a look at that later on but today i'm um, i'm just going to explore some older ports actually just one on this video and there's another video that will be coming later on with other things uh, but we'll be talking about more serial ports and stuff like that in fact uh, we are talking about the serial port today um, and how you can use it as a UART port or you know like a console port on Linux and I mean this has been done that's the actual purpose of the serial port when it actually came out uh, you know later it was used for communications the flashing of you know uh, uh, development boards and stuff like that but initially that is what it was meant for was serial communication uh, you, can, you can open up console to remote devices and the actual um, the actual serial port configuration allowed you or the specification allowed you to have extremely long wires uh, and we'll get into that later so this is the device i am talking about today uh, this is a, a serial to ttl converter um, and that takes in serial it has a conversion chip because the serial port runs at a fairly high voltage uh, again i'll talk about it in a second uh, and this is the uh, chip that you know uh, takes it a notch down so that things uh, 5 volt devices like this ttl to usb converter can use it and then i can plug that in uh, on my laptop right here so that desktop monitor that's running the on the older core to quad system that has the serial port um, and then i'll plug this in uh, on, on the laptop and we can see how all of that works so, uh, these are the chips that you just plug on to Arduino to get serial out of uh, serial output from them and the one cool thing about um, this chip and what we are doing here is we are converting serial back to serial uh, because this is this technically emulates a serial port on the USB port so if you have two systems that have serial and ports on both of them you can very much use them as is and just connect a serial cable to uh, directly to each other so we are going to plug that in and uh, we are going to open up a terminal later on but this is the setup and i'll show you all a, a simple example of what a serial port looks like and i'll plug this in so again the reason these things have such high voltages is that um they are meant to carry signals over very long distances and the cables can be huge 10 feet 20 feet cables or even like a big network uh, of them and then uh, a lot of people just sit on a dumb serial terminal and work on the mainframe uh, and that was kind of uh, when it originated so here is the back of uh, of the computer case and i don't have my mic here so the audio might be a bit weird um, but what you can do essentially and that is the serial port looks very much like the VJ port in, but that's a male port on the boards and it has lesser pins so that's my serial to TTL cable here and I will just plug that in like so um yeah and uh, that it's is how I, uh, it plugs in i can tighten it up with the with the screws uh, not necessary right now all right so i have plugged that in and i'm plugging in the usb port on my laptop and now when i do that you can see it shows up in uh, d message log uh, as tty usb zero so i can just go ahead and open up picocom uh, and connect to it so and when I press enter I can see the prompt uh, and the login prompt so that's the same system that's opened up there uh, so again Manjaro Linux uh, is there and C2Q is the name and uh, there we go I am logged in so if I do um, I should see the same system pop up you name a again the same stuff pop up and even cat proc cpu info should give as code to quad 
as I said um, and that is go to port so what we are going to do is to reboot the system and see the system actually boot up on the serial console and not on the VGA display because that's what I've done so I'll just issue the reboot command here and it and it starts to go into its reboot thing as you can see nothing on the display everything's on the console on my laptop and uh, just wait for it so on a lot of systems especially that are more um, workstation grade you can see the bias pop up here you can see the uh, grub pop up on this um, on, the, on the console but the bias of this particular system is not configured to do that there's no actual op option to do that so you can see nothing on the VJ it has already said welcome, uh, welcome to uh, Manjaro Linux on the display and now the system D logs you can see all of that happen um, again uh, the TTYS 0 is the actual uh, port that we are using and in a second we'll see uh, wh what goes wh what kind of the command line parameter that you have to set uh, I guess earlier on it was default um, and you can always get the serial on it but you know as serial ports went away uh, the distribution uh, stopped doing that so uh, we are now again we have already reached the login prompt but the graphic stuff has just started on there so you can see it there again I'm going to reboot it and I'm going to uh, stop um, uh, stop on grub on the other machine and we'll see what the command line parameters are again for all of you who have already had systems with uh, serial and with UART you would already knew, know that this video isn't particularly for you this is for like people like me or even younger who have no idea that this can be done so no idea why I'm logging in as root but alright so rebooting that and what I'm going to do is stop grub at command line so that is uh, our grub command line I'll zoom in a bit and the parameters that we want if you follow the cursor is actually right here that is the first one is console tty0 so that's uh, that's the VJ display itself um, and then we have console TTY S0 uh, at the baud rate and no uh, stop bits and 8 bit. So console TTY S0 uh, 115200 N8 and that gives you the console on on your serial port. Um, and I'll, I've also removed quite that's why there was more logs than usual. Um, otherwise it just shows the very basic logs even system D follows that so uh, remove quite and add that maybe if you even remove log priority uh, that would also uh, give you more logs but that can sometimes um, just uh, flush all of your console uh, console with weird logs that don't really uh, matter that much so so that was it that was the uh, the system booting over a serial port so that was it thank you so much for watching and uh, you know a, a, a quite simple video again more on the parallel port in the next one and more on this particular system that i just got